All right, Will. Um, I must say, I was very surprised to see you in that one. Um, because, like, you know, Meet the Millers, you definitely had a totally different role. <laughs> and you just have proven what a good actor, uh, what it means to be a good actor, because you were really a dick in this one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, but he's a bit of a dick, yeah. No, I know, I, I, I apologize for that. Um, but I, I appreciate the compliments, very kind. It was, um, it was cool for me, you know, to be able to, to do, uh, you know, a drama on this scale. And, and um, you know, I, I'd done a tiny bit at home before on kind of a much smaller stage. So, yeah, it was a big opportunity for me and I really relished um, the chance to do it. I'm grateful for, for, for uh, or to Wes for, for picking me. Um, and, you know, the character was a challenge and, and uh, as, as you say, not necessarily the nicest guy in the world, but, um, but fun and, you know, ultimately I, I, I really enjoyed it. But uh, what I heard, uh, what I read, uh, Wes, the director, saying about th this role, that it was not about really just making you look like a mean person, but apparently mm. you have your reason why you become or you are that person that you play within this um, movie. Yeah, it was it was important that there were kind of um, elements of kind of, um, you know, uh, rational thinking to Galli and, and, and that, um, you know, he, he was kind of understandable and, and you would on occasion empathize with him. Um, you know, I think at times he voices the opinions of people who don't quite agree with Thomas and, and the rest of the group who just seem intent on escaping at all costs and are willing to risk their lives. He is intent on defending what they've built, maintaining what they have, preserving what they've worked so hard to create. And, you know, if, if the day comes where they're rescued or the fight is brought, you know, to their door, then he's going to be prepared. But um, he's not willing to run out into the maze based on the track record. You know, I think his opinions have changed. And, and Galli ultimately is a little bit of a coward. You know, he gives off this kind of tough guy attitude, but he's actually you know, scared if he if he doesn't, even if he doesn't admit it, he's scared. I was just about to say that because I felt that that must have been very difficult just to play really on the, the thin line between mm. being like this tough guy, but at the same time, as you said, just like scared. Yeah. Um, the, the, the thing is like, which is going to be the next step for you after you played? I mean, you really have proven, I understand that you have such famous uh, fans, as we just mentioned earlier <laughs> on Instagram, uh, after I saw this one. Um, is it going to be more into the com comedian thing or do you feel that like the next things will be that you're supposed to be more of a bad guy because apparently you can play both? Well, I, oh man, that's kind of, I mean, I, the, the last the last few things I've done are uh, dramas, the last couple of fil films I've shot are, are, are dramas and um, I'm set to, my next thing is set to be a drama, but I, I, you know, I really want to be able to do a combination of both, you know, my, my heroes were the kind of guys who were able to do both, um, were able to kind of shock you um, by, you know, uh, giving a performance that was entirely different to the one before and, and, and taking one on entirely different after that. Um, and guys who were able to mix it up genre-wise, do comedies, do dramas, you know, do actions, um, you know, um, do uh, romantic films, do uh, thrillers, do do a comedy, like just always keep it keep it mixed up. And, and that for me as an actor really kind of excites me, that prospect, because it's gonna stretch me. It's, it's like, a, it's more of a workout than just playing versions of myself, you know? Uh, I don't want to really start a cultural war here, but what's the reason that specifically American productions are actually booking more and more specifically British ones? I understand that you mm -hmm. that Americans don't like the Germans too much because we have the no. strong accent most of the time, so I, <laughs> I understand it's kind of weird. But you uh, can turn it on very well. I was, I was take it to the shop. <laughs> but, but but how come? What is it? Is it that that over here uh, you, you having a different kind of uh, Coca Cola you're drinking, or is it just, yeah. is it the tea? What is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're mixing Coca Cola and tea these days. It's cr Crazy. I don't know. I'm out of touch with it. I don't know what the kids are doing, but um, for that extra caffeine here. No, I think I think there has been an advent of kind of British actors appearing in in um, in um, American productions or American-led productions, and and, and and European actors to, to to extend it that far. Certainly, um, I think a lot of the TV that we produce is responsible for that. You know, programs like Downton Abbey and. Um, you know, Game of Thrones that are kind of shot mm -hmm. on, on our aisles. Um, I think that's drew, drew quite a lot of attention over to, to us. And then obviously, you know, there have been kind of, you know, British front runners in film like um, Idris Elba, Chiwetel Ejiofor, um, you know, Colin Firth, um, you know, um, these kind of British actors who have really kind of, you know, um, attracted kind of, you know, Oscar attention and, and the highest kind of um, honors. Um, and of course, we've, we've had, you know, actors do that for, for a long time. I mean, you know, um, uh, Kate Winslet and uh, etc. These are actors who have um, all kind of made a name for themselves over there. But but there seems to be 
kind of more attention being paid to the to the mm. to the new generation of, of British actors, and that's really exciting. And I feel really lucky that I'm I'm working with you. Know, that, that's awesome. And also I, the same for you. I'm looking forward to see more of you coming out. Thank you, Patrice. Right. I appreciate it. Well, thank Good you so to much. meet you, man. Yeah. Good to All meet the you. best. Bye. All the best. And please stop winning. Kannst du mir irgendwas über dich erzählen? Wer du bist, woher du kommst? Weißt du deinen Namen? Ich, ich kann mich an gar nichts erinnern. Tag 1 Frischling. Raus aus den Federn. Was ist das hier? Willkommen auf der Lichtung. Wer hat uns hergebracht? Wissen wir nicht. Was ist da draußen? Ihr könnt mich nicht einfach hier festhalten. Ich kann dich nicht gehen lassen. Warum sagt keiner, was da draußen ist? Das Labyrinth. Jeden Morgen, wenn sich diese Tore öffnen, suchen die Läufer einen Weg nach draußen. Niemand hat bisher eine Nacht im Labyrinth überlebt. Was passiert mit ihm? Wir nennen sie Griva. Wir gehören nicht hierher. Irgendjemand hat das Labyrinth gebaut. Es wird Zeit rauszufinden, womit wir es hier zu tun haben. Du bist nicht wie die anderen. Du bist neugierig. Was ist das denn? Das ist der erste echte Hinweis. Wer weiß, wohin uns das führt? Ein Mädchen. Thomas. Alles hier hat sich verändert, seit du aufgetaucht bist. Was, wenn wir aus einem bestimmten Grund hier sind? Die Tore schließen sich nicht. Sie sind hier. Die kommen so lange wieder, bis sie uns alle getötet haben. Lasst uns abhauen, auch wenn wir dabei sterben. Du checkst es einfach nicht. Wir sind längst tot. Bist du dir sicher? Nein. Wir kommen hier nicht raus. Sie lassen uns nicht.